let's see well hello 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 and welcome to another episode of live with dance quarantining in corona episode number 192 are we on like we are yes we are on hello sarah welcome can you let everyone in sarah oh, hello becky ottenberry how are you becky so we got washington louisiana here today i'm opening the thank you so much and let's see who else is joining us today hello 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 michael ramirez welcome to the show thank you guys show 192 we are eight shows away from 200 shows can you believe that consistently every weeknight it started with seven days a week went down to weeknights all right let's see i beat sarah finally <laughs> Rita, how are you, Rita? Where you been? We've been worried about you. <laughs> okay, come on in. Bobby Miller, how are you? Welcome, our Amazon man. Uh, righty. What do you do when you get a gift from someone through Amazon and then you need to return it or change it? What do you do? Okay, now it's for almost one week till Christmas. Yes. I hope you guys are ready for Christmas. Are you ready? I'm wearing red. Just uh, that's a start. Recoup. Oh, I hope you're feeling better. Okay, let's see. Just what did I do today? Another day. I put the fence again. I put a fence over my fence so I can have little Delilah don't have to go across to the neighbor who has pit bull all right Amy is here even the taggers are getting sick of governor Gavin Newsom uh, they tagged recall Newsom <laughs> over the freeway <laughs> oh that's interesting all right I hope you're feeling better Amy and your husband Philip you're recovering day 12 of the COVID better good uh your shirt is as red as rudolph's nose yes it is that's that's for no i didn't i didn't plan that you can't plan that it's not like you can take his nose and try to do a match bobby let's see okay uh let's see canoeing in connecticut of course our friend art is still in san marcos california ray elfers how are you brother i love ray he doesn't he doesn't comment he just hardly comments he watches <laughs> hi art and beth and the tv what's worse than a colonoscopy oh that's right you had the colonoscopy i saw the movie no i didn't <laughs> okay let's see uh oh that's that's you feel good after the colonoscopy you feel like for a week you feel light and and energetic and then you start back in the junk food again <laughs> kiwi is becoming my favorite fruit it was cutie oh as at least they still sound they have a k sound which is a funny sound i hope we're entertaining enough for ray I think he is. He's getting entertained. So I hope you guys are watching and entertaining yourself through this show. Some of you never go on the show with us and uh, and comment, but you're watching it the next day. I want to encourage you guys. Uh, I think uh, we are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, even though it's getting it's uh, we're at the darkest point of this tunnel. But uh, it's going to get better. As things going to change, and I pray that you took this time where you're quarantining maybe you had an extra time if you're not a nurse or a f an essential worker like we're non-essentials you're really thinking about what can you what is the best thing you can do maybe you lost your job and it's not a bad thing you can look at what can i do where i can love you know what i'm doing you know when i when i first ran a marathon which i wasn't planning on running i finished and i said what do i want to do in life that if i never get paid for it i will still do it to the best of my ability uh, which it was making people laugh and 30 years later i mean the next the next week i was on stage and i've been on stage since so 
I'm telling you that because you are, God gifted you, each one of you, with something that you can do better than other people. What is that? How can you apply that to your work? Or how can you find work that has to do with that? And boom, you that's, you know, when you enjoy, enjoy what you do, just do it to the best of your ability. Don't make it, yeah, eh, I don't know, I'm not good. Because you're going to feel insecure. Everyone feels insecure. I feel insecure s sometimes before I go on stage and I have thousands of people waiting and I've been doing it for years. I still get like, oh, I'm not good enough. I hope they don't find out that I'm not funny. Or oh, I hope I don't bomb, which I haven't, I haven't bombed, which is, you know, had the audience not laugh at all for years and years because you have techniques to d to do it. But, man, you know what? Be encouraged. You you are great. God thinks you're great. This is not like, I don't want to just lift you up like, man, we're not. No, really, God gifted you with certain talents that you can use to, to number one, bless your family and, you know, and bless other people. So, why am I starting with motivation? I don't know. All right, let's see. Rita, when I went in for a colonoscopy, here we go. I told the doctor that if he went only halfway, I would be a semi <laughs> semi colonoscopy. I'll be a semi colonoscopy. All right, my Michael and Joey is here. I agree with Art. I too hope that light at the end of the tunnel is not a train coming at us. <laughs> nope, the train already ran over us, people. Uh, my dog didn't see the end of the, my tunnel. That's why he needed that. <laughs> uh, but Mallorca thinks I'm crazy laughing out loud. <laughs> That's funny. You guys are funny. I hope every time you say you're laughing or you're enjoying yourself, I just like that's another shot of uh, M Moderna. No, another shot of, uh, you know, energy for me to go on i love it he thought you weren't allowed to say bomb naz <laughs> oh that's right mm, naz lip syncs <laughs> okay where is joey i didn't see him wherever you are okay la i'm laying down tonight i know i hope you feel better that COVID kills people not kills but i mean gets it does kill some people but it gets you so tired i've had a couple friends who had it that said they have no energy. They're drained. Okay, here's what you did last night. I asked you what to say to a rude receptionist. And here's what you came up with. I wanted to put them in a bigger, better order and say number 20 and number 19. But uh, that little Delilah really would not let me do anything. She, every time I get on my laptop, she just jumps on top of me and she won't let me do it. So it's not an excuse, but let's see. Don't worry, Naz. We get depressed without this show. Okay, that's encouraging. None of us are allowed to greet someone named Jack. Everybody <laughs> say hi, Jack. Okay, number 20, God bless you. Number 19, who died and made you queen of the receptionist? Number 18, swallow a lemon? Number 17, did you eat a profusely sweating toad or something? Uh, number 16, did your dog eat your lunch again? Number 15, did you have your coffee today? I will buy you a cup. Number 14, oh, so it's Mean Girls Day today. Well, snap, snap. Number 13, that candy isn't going to crush itself. Number 12, gear is your ponytail too tight. Number 11, I guess that's why you make the big bucks. Uh, number 10, did you get mascara in your eyes or something? Number 9, are you hangry? Number 8, I think you've got dust in the windmills of your mind. Number seven, tell me how you really feel. Number six, are you trying to win a Gr to win a Grinch contest or something? Okay, number five, so having a bad day today, huh? Number four, wow, I thought I'd have to go to another country to be treated so rudely. And number three, do you need a timeout? Number two, who are you and what have you done with the real receptionist? And number one, came from my beloved wife. I said, is it still 2020? So that is uh you know that is the top and before i get to the first question you guys asked yesterday and by popular demand and many requests here comes delilah all right here is delilah she's very whiny because she wants to sleep and she it just 
the angry little baby that just just loves her daddy and oh, I love you too and she's good she's a good girl look at the cat she's been chewing on it chewing on the cat say hi to the mic say hello everybody this is Delilah oh there Delilah how are you all right here you go say bye oh she's gonna talk what is what what say hello oh you're sorry you're tired Go ahead. Thank you, Tally. Thank you for coming. Those are Tally's arms. Yes, she's white as snow. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, did you guys know that today is National Syrup, Maple Syrup Day? Hey there, Delilah. Hey, it sounds like a song. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. What an artist she is. Break a leg. <laughs> uh, hey, Delilah. You're the spitting image of your papa. Thanks, Art. Uh, oh, puppy, yes. Yeah, Maha got a number one. Maha is doing her Bible study today, but she will join us in in a little bit. The doc was singing as he was doing the colonoscopy, the long and winding road. <laughs> well, you should have said, laid down straight. You must be from Northern California. <laughs> Send COVID back to China. <laughs> oh, I needs to pack his bags and get the heck out of here and everywhere, too. I'm tired of COVID, yes. Well, I don't think COVID have bags with them. They always come eating kiwi. All right, enjoy it. Share with us, man. Blame the puppy. <laughs> I am. I did, it was. I'm serious. He ate my homework. She ate my homework. What an artist she's. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, Pamela's here. This is a sticky day. And my doggy are giving me kisses too. The dog was singing. <laughs> Lily's here. Lily Navas, ladies and gentlemen, a wonderful friend. My friend for over 30 years. And she's here with us. And Chu Doga, Chewbacca. Alrighty, let's see. Uh, so today is National Maple Syrup Day. And I know there's one, Aunt Jemima, they have to change the name of that maple syrup, which was the best maple syrup and Aunt Jemima is a wonderful, wonderful story of a successful young African-American woman who became a millionaire, I think. And just a great story, but they have to change the name. So, you know what? Let's give another name to maple syrup. What another name can we give maple syrup? Another brand or another uh, something we can... Put on a maple syrup. Hello, Elena. Welcome. It's always good. Suzanne is back with us. Three days in a row. Two more days and you win. I don't know what you would win. <laughs> Check out the parody song of Hey There Delilah called Hey There Khalila by Go Remy. I think I've heard that. Does Delilah have a puppy mask? Uh, not yet, because she's not allowed out, Kevin. We're told that you have to keep her inside for two months. So we're keeping her inside for two months. Mm, I'm feeling that if they change the name of the syrup, it won't taste the same, right? Howdy, howdy, howdy. Sweet tea sap. <laughs> Maui is in bed with me sleeping. Oh, yeah, I hope she feels better after the surgery. And Cha Sticky. Instead of my Jemima. And Cha Sticky. And PC. <laughs> and PC, politically correct. That's funny. That's funny, guys. I think I heard her son was successful in winning that in court. We are now able to find the syrup on the shelf now. <gasps> oh, I didn't know that. No, no. Wisconsin sap. <laughs> and B. <laughs> Sweet and syrupy. Adriana Cardenas, how are you? Our wonderful nurse, Adriana, how are you? It's been a while, we miss you. Thank you for joining us. I hope you're doing great. Sticky, sticky, Canadian's best friend, the Pelosi Pledge. <laughs> the Pelosi Pledge. It is, maple syrup is Canadian. The whole idea is maple, of course. The Pelosi Pledge, you said, best liquid pancake topper. You're making me hungry. 
Okay, let's see. Can also be used as glue. <laughs> okay, what other name we have for maple syrup? Pancake glue. <laughs> Is hotcakes the same as pancakes? Is that is that because always people say, you know what? Um, uh, this is you know, he was making money like hotcakes, or or something. It's what is the saying about hotcakes? But I've never seen anybody very wealthy from hotcakes. Pancake covering, golden waffle topper. You ain't my mama. <laughs> Nutty Newsome syrup. Oh, <laughs> and cha out of your PC mind. Finger licking maple. <laughs> Found my hiding phone, so now I can say hi, hi. Becky Voth, hello. Alan Goodwin, happy Tuesday to you, my brother. Thank you for joining us. The question is give us another name for maple syrup. Or, uh, you know. How they tried to change the name for Jan Jemima, the best syrup. But anyway, just give us a different name. Liquid gold. Selling like, yes. When they say it's selling like hotcakes. Do you know anybody who became a millionaire from selling hotcakes? Other than IHOP, I think. Is that is that what it is? I'm assuming hotcakes are pancakes, right? Artificially flavored corn syrup based stimulus. Simulated maple pancake fluid. I don't think you can put that on a sticker and still have room for the <laughs> ingredients. <laughs> Becky said, Di dripping goodness. Oh, I like that. Diabetes in a bottle. Crystal, <laughs> another Canadian maple person here with us. Thank you for joining us. It's been a while. Hope you're doing good. Artificially <laughs> Three juice. <laughs> okay, Wisconsin gold. Don't they serve a rabbit at IHOP? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, concentrated tree blood. <laughs> Don't they get glue also from trees or from horses? Okay. Yeah, I think maple syrup from trees and glue from horses. Uncle Jemima, for those who are gender <laughs> neutral. <laughs> <laughs> Resco chicken and waffles are very rich. Wake up kids. <laughs> that's right. That's a good name. Wake up kids. Non-racial brown syrup with disclaimers. <laughs> You're coming back really on tonight, Rita. You're such a sap. <laughs> Maple syrup is good on scrambled eggs and sausage and cheese. Are you kidding me? Really? I've never tried it on anything but uh, pancakes. Flapjack lubricant. <laughs> I'm already guess that means it's an approved drink for low blood sugar. <laughs> Uncle Ben's sister syrup. <laughs> Liquid taste bud stimulator. Okay. Tally, do you have another name for maple syrup? Oh, we need to sanitize. Three We're liquid. Three liquid. Yes, it was. Okay, let's sanitize and share, people. Oh, did I say? Did I say the S word? No. Good. I did. I thought I said the the S word, which is share. <gasps> I can't say it. All right. Another name for maple syrup: Golden Goo, <laughs> Piggy, Wiggy, Maple. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Liz Rice Spears, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Uh, Tia Juanita. <laughs> Aunt Juanita. <laughs> Another name. Happy Sappy. I like that. Happy Sappy. Golden Goo. Aren't you mama? <laughs> Ain't your mama's syrup. Pancake sanitizer. <laughs> Golden energy. Sappy, the dwarf we don't talk about. Wait, I must be watching a different show. There are silver dollar pancakes, so maybe someone made some money from there. That's right. 
Cher used to be married to Sonny. <laughs> Sonny and Cher. Goo Goo Juice. That's a good name. Sugar Energy in a Bottle. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> you fill the blank. Candy for French Toast. Hello, Vincent. How are you, my friend? Thank you for joining us. Maple syrup. So um, I'm assuming that hotcakes are the pancakes. And Delilah, in honor of your new puppy. We are having a great week, guys. Thank you. I can't believe it's not syrup. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we got. Hungry hippos maple. Shouldn't really be for breakfast food. We need ration maple syrup. After all, it doesn't grow in trees, you know. <laughs> it does grow in trees, Crystal. Bacon glaze. <laughs> Bacon glaze. Beard cleanser. Canadian mother's milk. <laughs> Dogs love syrup on their dog food. It helps them eat their dog food. <gasps> really? I don't think they all eat like that much sugar. That much sugar, yeah. But you know what happened? Uh, Delilah wasn't eating much at all until today. Maha put a little bit of chicken, like uh, cooked chicken, a little bit on, on her food with a little bit of water. And man, she ate the whole thing. So, syrup, huh? Breakfast booster. <laughs> Liz McCracken, how are you, Elizabeth? You're never late. Thank you for joining us. We're trying to come up with a different name for maple syrup. <laughs> yes, hotcakes are the same thing as pancakes. It just depends on what region you're from. Well, I used to be from Ohio, and we called it pop. And I came here, and it's called soda. I didn't know they do that for... For pancakes. Also, it's hotcakes in the East Coast and pancakes in the West. Good. I'm glad they don't serve you food on the plane anymore because what if you're going east and they change the name right on top of over Colorado or something? COVID cure. Brent. Brent is here. Welcome, brother. We miss you. Come on in. Canadian prison currency. Liquid gold. Three blood. Chris Rossetti is here. We're getting all the friends together now. Gone through PC sensitivity training. Pure syrup. That's a good name. Golden tree tears. <laughs> Great brown goo you put on hot cakes and waffles. Canadian shampoo. <laughs> hey, Joey. How are you? We were looking for you earlier. All right. Don't give sugar to dogs. Right. Chicken is very good for dogs, just no spices. No, it didn't have spices. Uh, we took the skin off. So, But it, the, the hard thing is like Rocky, the last couple of years, that's all he ate is chicken, rice, and uh, pumpkin. Uh, pumpkin, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, we, we used to put pumpkin because the doctor said pumpkin, if your dog have any problems with his stomach, pumpkin will regulate everything. So we used to put pumpkin, you know, in cans. You open it and you dip it with the rice and the chicken. But then again, when we had to travel, we had to put like Ma had to cook like six different meals for him while we we're gone for two days and have whoever's watching him do that. So we don't want to do that yet. It's too early. Show, shop, shoes, shoe. Sticky wiki. <laughs> Sticky wicket. Welcome. Let's see. How come the International House of Pancake is only in the U.S.? <laughs> well, they have, they had a vision, they had goals, and didn't come to pass. <laughs> Canadian blood transfusion, uh, syrup from hog trees. <laughs> Hot cakes are either chocolate or cold cakes if you wait long enough. <laughs> and let's see, pure maple syrup is expensive. Oh, I didn't know that. Sausage glaze. Growing up, I knew it as soda pop. Right. Yeah, well, we called it pop in Ohio. And then now, it's soda. No trees were harmed. <laughs> Sweet sauce. It's okay. Most of us know, right? 
away what someone is talking about, whether you say hotcakes or pancakes. See, now I know that. I've always wondered about hotcakes. Artery clogger, <laughs> that's true. Hey, and flapjacks in the south and midwest and backwoods. Really, you call it flapjacks? Oh, sap of ages. Yummy in my tummy sauce. Flapjacks in the far north. Oh, I did not know that. I'm learning, people. People who are watching this show, you are learning from our friends here. Maple syrup, the golden arches. Syrup approved by Al Gore and more. <laughs> Spoiled dog. Canadian sunscreen. <laughs> yep, Matthew's right about flapjacks. I would still know what he wanted, though. Flapjacks. <laughs> Uh, liquid gold compliments of our neighbors to the north. Yes. Canadian chapsticks. Tree juice. Hey, James Blind, how are you? Canadian convenience stores have maple syrup to pour over your venison slushies. <laughs> really? Ooh. I said, Mr. Special. Butter's friend. <laughs> if you call a woman hot cake. Though you could get into a lot of trouble. <laughs> Triple S sauce. Spouse silence sauce. So sticky it, steal, it seals your mouth. One stuck in the hair. Always stuck in the hair. <laughs> Victoria not no so secret. <laughs> Great white north tanning. Great white north tanning lotion. Uh, Vermont is also very famous for maple syrup. Yes. I heard that. I have a friend, uh, Rabbi Bob Alper, the comedian, lives in Vermont and keeps telling you how gorgeous it is. And they keep telling him, you know, enjoy the gorgeous state when you have to drive two miles to get to your neighbor. Stick to your PC rib syrup. Bacon Baconator <laughs> flavorator. <laughs> That's right, Liz. That's funny. Melted Slurpee. Fly trap. And let's see. IV maple <laughs> stimulus sauce. <laughs> That's right. No matter where it's cold, it's all delicious. Bear dinner call. <laughs> slap your mama sauce. We bought some of that spice. It's called slap your mama sauce. <laughs> it's funny because Maha didn't know what it means. <laughs> it's a comment. And she got mad at Carol. <laughs> Hi, Let's see, corn syrup, rich cousins, <laughs> the glue that holds the world together. L all right, yes. Syrup was used back in Moses' day. Cheryl used it to glue the great sphinx and the great pyramids together, and they keep the rain out. Oh, who's Cheryl? Canadian sanitizer. Speaking of Canadian sanitizer, we have to sanitize in a little bit. Up for days sauce. Do you know how to spell Canada? C E N E D E. <laughs> Canadian. A flavor savior. Colon clogger. <laughs> Land flowing. Do you have to mention that to Chris Rosetti knowing that Rita just went through a colonoscopy? <laughs> Land flowing with milk and syrup. I just ran out of my New Orleans slap your mama spice so sad. <laughs> well, Amazon should have it. Vermont comes from French Verdmont, which means green mountains. <gasps> oh, Verd in Spanish is Verde, which is green, and Mont, it's French. Oh, yeah. Tally's uh, learning French. Did you know that, Tally? Mm -hmm. Verd, which is green, and Mont is a mountain. Syrup is good in coffee. Are you serious, Bobby? Put syrup in coffee? It's no longer your anti-syrup. Syrup? Canadian ketchup? <laughs> Sounds like food. Ooh, I thought you were laying charades there for a second. <laughs> Interesting sign language there, Naz. Oh, oh, I was just talking to our engineer. Okay, let's sanitize people. Sanitize, and if you feel like it, you know what to do. Oh, 
Okay, another great idea bites the dust. Stop on a crack, you break your mama's back. <laughs> Lip smacks on fly traps. <laughs> Liquid sugar, Canadian ice cream topper. Naz, what is he? A step on a crack, <laughs> lip smack, liquid sugar, can you? And sappy, yes, it's so good on ice. Cream. Let's sanitize people, could be a new business. Cousin of Roger's <laughs> syrup. Okay, interesting sign language there. <laughs> Okay, let's give you another question for tonight. Is it 9.02? Uh, yes. Let's give you another question while we get the uh, Guinness Book of World Records ready. Okay. Let's see. The other question today is, ladies and gentlemen, what do you say to people eating smelly food? What do you airplane food. airplane food or in the airplane? What do you say to people eating smelly food on the seat next to you on the airplane? What do you say to people eating smelly food, which happened a lot, especially now that they won't serve food? They no longer serve food on the fl if you're flying coach. So what happens is people are buying their own food and some people are bringing their own food and some people from, uh, you know, international countries, to say the least, uh, their food doesn't smell very good. It tastes great, but it doesn't smell fun. Uh, Oh, you meant to say Pharaoh, not Cheryl. Well, maybe his name was Cheryl. <laughs> Cat hair magnet. Have you ever tasted maple syrup on fresh snow? No, I should try it. Leftovers for your shirt. <laughs> That's the and you cousin. Okay, liquid mane. <laughs> have, uh, have you ever tasted yellow snow? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Did anyone ask the good old aunt to change her label? Sappy tappy. <laughs> I cry foul. <laughs> Ew, it's pronounced like the letter A and in the interjection that Canadians say like Arabs say Yani. Yani. Oh yeah, A, A, yes. What do you say to people eating smelly? Oh, that was me. Eating seafood at work should be grounds for termination. I know that much. <laughs> You need to quarantine after eating that, starting now. <laughs> what died? <laughs> Hope it tastes better than it smells. <laughs> My wife's cooking. Stop it. Fresh of the farm. Ew. Can you go outside? <laughs> On the plane, Bobby, you're so polite and so considerate. Hey, sir, can you, can you go outside and eat this outside? <laughs> Sounds fishy to me. Uh, share your food. Share the love. Limburger, I think your plate just mowed. <laughs> <laughs> the last Saskatchewan pirate had a treasure trove of stolen maple syrup somewhere in the Saskatoon. <laughs> I've been there. I've been to Saskatoon and Saskatchewan, and I've seen Bigfoot. He came to my concert <laughs> in uh, what's. Lamb co uh, cam loop, <laughs> that's what he did. <laughs> did you um do something? <laughs> Suzanne is a wealth of knowledge, right? That is certainly not plain food. <laughs> when you get home, you best slap your mama for letting <laughs> you out of the house with this food. <laughs> it wasn't me, <laughs> it's takeout. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, please put your shoes on. <laughs> That's funny, <laughs> you guys. That's funny. I miss laughing like that. That's funny. Oh, <laughs> really? 
Road kill. Oh, your food is making me sick. <laughs> Get your parachute ready. <laughs> Good one, Becky Ba. I bought this deodorant from Walmart and thought of you. <laughs> if you must eat that, <laughs> eat it fast. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, didn't shower after the gym, huh? Golden goodness. <laughs> right. So happy to find you finally. Greeting from Green Bay. Grace, Ranger. How are you? Welcome. Welcome, Grace. Our new friend, we have other friends from Wisconsin with us. We got our friend Matthew Durf and Jane from uh, Milwaukee. And then sometimes we get our good friend Randall, who goes to Celebration from Green Bay. So you see expiration dates as more of a suggestion then. <laughs> uh, let me ask you this. So you see expiration dates as more of a suggestion then. <laughs> I think that fish is still swimming. <laughs> Remind me of how old man Wicket's house smelled after they found him dead <laughs> in it after a long hot summer. <laughs> yeah, I bathed today. That food smells bad. <laughs> oh, what died on your plate? Right. There's some there's some great seeds <laughs> out on the wing. <laughs> You're still a polite passenger, Bobby. Your food smells like Harris Ranch on Interstate 5. <laughs> That's true. I When we drive, we're always ready for it. We, when you drive from Southern California to Northern California, you, you're you going to go through that time. Uh, and what do you call it? You're going to go. There's an area where Harris Ranch is, and you have to plug your nose and turn the air conditioning off. Because otherwise it will get in your car. It would take another 100 miles to get rid of that smell. Okay. Uh, the food should be on the no-fly list. <laughs> oh, I could not bring an extra bag, but you could bring that on the plane. <laughs> I got it. Thank you so much, my engineer. Did you get permission from the pilot to eat this? That would be. So when did you lose the bet? <laughs> if you don't eat that now, I will cry out, bomb. <laughs> Do you have a dead body on board? Do we? <laughs> and that food should be on the no fry list. <laughs> the maple venison slushies are made up and not a real fact. The last Saskatchewan pirate is a funny song by Canadian band. The arrogant forms the song makes no mention of maple syrup. I made that part up. Some of the other facts, oh right, are actually facts. Venison is good cooked in apple juice and brown sugar. You guys are trying to make us hungry, huh, Grace? It's still 8.30 here. 9, probably 9, 10 after 9, so we're allowed to eat still. You would be D.B. Cooper if D.B. stood for dinner's bed. <laughs> hey, I just so happened to buy this air freshener for you. Use it now. How polite. <laughs> You're so thoughtful, Sarah. So you get that. <laughs> so you get this pastiest. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. <laughs> A lot of food smells bad. It really makes me sick. Is that a part of your terrorist attack? <laughs> oh, you think he's going to tell you? <laughs> the restrooms make a great alternative eating area. Still another polite passenger, Mr. Bobby Miller. <laughs> so you have no sense of smell, do you? So are all the others against your religion? <laughs> the chicken is way too foul to eat it in here. <laughs> There's a great seat in the bathroom. Lutfisk. <laughs> Remind me of when the dog pooped in my dad's shoes. <laughs> that reminds me of when the dog pooped in my dad's shoes. Mmm, smells like fresh country air, huh? Sir, the bathroom is in the back. <laughs> so you just want to blow yourself up, huh? <laughs> A 
I wish COVID had kept my sense of smell. <laughs> or I wish COVID <laughs> took away my sense of smell. Are you sure that's edible? <laughs> the sewer is worth smell. <laughs> Can I offer you some mouthwash? <laughs> Does that mean not come with a complimentary can of lice? <laughs> Does this meal not <laughs> come? Oh, <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I have another barf bag if you need it. Your exits are here. <laughs> I love this. This is funny. <laughs> oh, man, this is good. <laughs> Put that back. You might crash the plane with this, <laughs> the way it smells. How could you not notice your food stunk? The air mask came down when you opened it. <laughs> this is Gif Gifelt Fish Free Zone. This is a a fish flight. <laughs> Get f uh, I think there's a an error. Tell you what, I won't eat my lamb <laughs> burger if you don't eat that fork by me. <laughs> that's a good deal. Oh, so that's why the oxygen mask dropped down, huh? That smelled like my mother-in-law. <laughs> You're the reason all planes gave oxygen masks. How about putting your mask back on? <laughs> I have a severe allergy to whatever it is that you're eating. Maple syrup, great in coffee and on ice cream. Oh, so, you know, Bobby was saying it's with coffee. I didn't know that. I'm going to try it with coffee. Can I open a window, let some fresh air in? Sir, we've got a severely malodorous situation here. <laughs> you must have gotten that from the Aloha snack bar. If you don't lose that now, I will open your window. <laughs> there was a dog food plant in Colton, California by Valley College. Their smell was really bad. The smell on hot days. An onion plant with a two. Ooh. Don't say anything. Oh. No, I'm glad they make us wear masks. Banging my head gave you a hint. Will this be your last meal? <laughs> you should just charter a plane. <laughs> the air sickness bag is not for grabbing a quick snack. <laughs> this is your last supper on the plane. <laughs> Did you just hear what the pilot smelled and say? <laughs> Dead man walking. And those Brussels sprouts. <laughs> COVID would not even touch that. <laughs> what doesn't kill you make you stronger. Did you hear the pilot say we're now landing? <laughs> Don't remove your mask, please. In what country are <laughs> fossilized foods popular? <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. Okay. All right. I think your thousand-year-old eggs just expired. You've been randomly selected to fly in the baggage compartment. <laughs> Eureka, you have created a cheap version of medical anesthesia. Now please deposit it in the biohazard bag. <laughs> Look what you did all the <laughs> to the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Guy Fieri called. He said, please stop. <laughs> Science experiment, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't eat that if I were you. <laughs> what did you think this is? The, what, the Garoy Garlic Festival? You fogged up all the windows. <laughs> I will yell out and say your food stinks to everyone. <laughs> right? Okay, it is time for the Guinness Book of World Records, ladies and gentlemen, and it's sanitized time. So let's sanitize, and then from there, we're going to ask you the... Maple syrup question. What was the fastest time to drink a bottle of maple syrup? What is the fastest time to drink a bottle of maple syrup? A guy named Kevin Strahal made it from New York. And he won the record. How many seconds did it take him? And if you can give me your three answers. Seconds plus like milliseconds if you want, like 10.2, 10 
5.4, 3.6, if you can, so we can get a winner. All right. It's uh, over one second and under 15 seconds. Let's do it. Three answers today because we're getting close to prayer time. But if you have any animals, you can go ahead. So you, you guys really, I hit the nerve with the with the bad food. You are staying. Okay, I will tell you. <laughs> I will yell out and say your food stinks. So you thought maple syrup and sardine was a good idea. <laughs> I think your food just blew out the plane windows. Trying to mummify yourself, huh? <laughs> you outstunk the bratty baby. Gordon Ramsay would like to swear at you for an hour in the galley over this meal. <laughs> I hope you buried the spatula that you cooked that food with. <laughs> your dead fish smell is making my eyes water. So you make stink bait for fishing, huh? <laughs> What size bottle? I don't know. First the Chinese created COVID-19 and now they send you on a flight with another biological weapon. <laughs> what was the slowest time should be? I don't know. Do you work for a bait and tackle shop? Okay, James said, no, it's under 15 seconds. 33, 46, 38.65. Great, so what is wrong with my falafel? <laughs> One minute, that's 60 seconds. No, it's less than 15 seconds. Let me, it's my cousin, 5.5 seconds. Becky said 2.3, 5.7, and 9.4. Amy said 14 seconds. Art said 13.2, 13.1, and 12.9. Crystal said 505, 707, and 9.09. 30 seconds for Ray, it's under 15 seconds. Sarah said 2.5, Amy said 15, Ray said 3 seconds. Wait, what was the range between 1 second and 15 seconds? You just got deported from Flavor Town. <laughs> 9.2 seconds, 4.5, 7.5, 8.5. 11.3 for Matthew, 40 for Amy. It's under 15. 8.3, do you have a recipe for that? 4.4, 7.7, 8.8 8 for Rita. Becky said 7.8, Joey said 5.5, 6.5, 7.5. You blew out <laughs> engine number two. So your wife's trying to kill you too. 8.8. <laughs> be left to buy Takis. I feel awful as you are eating your falafel. <laughs> what do you say to people eating smelly food in the seat next to you on the plane? Who let the hogs out? <laughs> Trick question. Canadians don't use seconds. They use melee hours. <laughs> okay. 10.6 for Elena Hemingway. 12.4 and 8.7. Becky Alton Perry, I thought it was 1 to 10. No, it's 1 to 15 seconds. So you can get other chances. Since I messed up, maybe. 13.5 for the Crystal said, if you have to, please destroy it and never... Recreated. <laughs> Michael went to the front door to pick up a package that Bob is dropping off right now. <laughs> Liz McCracken said 24.2 seconds. It's under 15 seconds. The range is 1 second to 15 seconds. My buddy's wife cooking smelled like that right before she left him too. <laughs> <coughs> oh, man. That's fine. All right, where is your answers, my beloved? Where is thou answers, thou guesses? Michael stopped at Banda Express. 12 seconds for Suzanne. Michael left, Maha went. Maha's not, she's still in her Bible study. Even or odd number. Well, 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 well. It's only a few seconds, so... I'm not gonna tell you, Michael. It's not that difficult. It's only between one and 15 seconds. The rooster isn't guessing tonight. I shut his beak with some maple syrup. Sarah left to check on the farm animals. Andy Henderson, how are you? 
You, you eat that and you're going to be on the next episode of Air Disasters. <laughs> oh man. Alrighty, are we? Are we? Did you guys put all your guesses? Sarah, okay, let's see. You eat that and you're going to be on the next episode. All right, Sarah said, you're right, Art, I'm still here. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? Did you do your guesses? Michael Ramirez, 13.1. You got two more. 11.7 for Michael Ramirez. And 8.9. Good. Has everybody guessed? Because I'm ready to give the answer. And the winning answer is the winning answer. If you keep eating that, you'll end up missing. <laughs> 8.9. Joey left to cook a replacement for the guy next to you on the plane. Sold. Must be whatever caused Nero to swell up, burst, and die. <laughs> uh, gif giflet fish. The other white the other white meat. You've heard of what not to wear. Well, now we know what not to eat. Okay, the answer is the fastest time to drink a bottle of maple syrup came from an American guy, not a Canadian, named Kevin Strahal from New York and took him 10.84 seconds. 10 seconds, point eight four of a second. And the only winner tonight is Elena. Elena Musgrove said 10.4. And that is the closest. Let's see. Now I'm talking to myself. 10.6 is Elena, so she's 0.2 of a second close, so yes, she is the winner. Alrighty, alrighty. Congratulations, you're a proud winner of this toilet paper, what's left of it. Enjoy it. Alright, Elena, just the thought of someone drinking that much maple syrup is making me feel a bit ill, <laughs> right? You've heard? Alrighty, let's see. It is 9.23, ladies and gentlemen, and it is time for our prayer request. Uh, I'm going to ask you to pray for little Ella. The, she's four years old now. She's still going through. Um, the, she was going through. She's in maintenance now for her, uh, uh, her cancer, leukemia. So keep her in prayer. Her numbers are very down, and it's not good, but they said that the medicine does that. So just keep her mom is nervous, so keep her mom in prayer. Kathy, her mom Kathy, pray, pray for her. Pray for her dad, Tim. And uh, anybody else needs prayer, please let me know. You obviously have never visited Tim Hortons. All right, cousin. All right, anybody else? needs prayer I know we're still praying for some people and um, pray for this Sunday I'm teaching at a church in Oceanside and some of you had you know unspoken prayers would pray for that let me know what you need you can message me I will pray for you pray for Brent yes Brent you need to call me man I'm going to lie and say I have a gig for you, so that will make any comedian call. Here, let me pour this bottle of maple syrup over your food. That will make it taste better. It <laughs> will cover up your smell. Okay. True story, Christopher. He wasn't a professional. Okay. You <laughs> See, if he was Canadian, he would have done it in two shakes of moose tail. <laughs> Like the time I ate a bowl of honey when I was a teenager. <laughs> yes, and I drank a bottle of Tabasco because of a bit. Five dollars. I did it in college. Drank a whole bottle of Tabasco sauce. Equal 12 mil hours. <laughs> I saw Tim Hortons in an airport, but I don't believe I had time to check it out. Yeah, they're good coffee. It's like Dunkin' Donuts for us. Similar idea. They sell bagel, they sell donuts, they sell sandwiches, they sell coffee. Okay, Bandit. 
Teresa, pray for our nation. Yes, we do. Please pray that I find a new church and church family as the last pastor I was under tried to get me to marry a guy for citizenship, not for love. That is horrible, Crystal. I knew about that. I prayed for you. I didn't want to share this, but thank you for sharing it with everybody. But yes, you need to go to a different church. That's wrong. Teresa Verdoz is here. Hello, Teresa. Love you all. Good night from Maine. Good night, Teresa. We love you. Grace said 10.3 seconds. Yes. And 10.84 seconds was the answer. And what's her name? Uh, Elena. Not what's her name. Miss Elena. Mrs. Elena. Who came up with 10.6. The closest to the 10.8. So, speaking of that. No, no, you don't need to marry. I mean, this is horrible, Crystal, but I'm a comedian and who says that. Like, what would have been the... Ten I will love you till death do us part or I get my green card, huh? Please pray for my family. Michael McCracken, my dad died. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Liz. We'll be praying for you and your family. I'm sorry. Oh, that's hard. Canadian says popular. They actually had the maple c cappuccino. Tim Horton was a hockey player. Yes, before he started selling coffee, sugar, and fat. <laughs> All right, Lily Navas. Oh. Okay, guys. Let's see who else needs prayers. Ah. Oh. Again, I want to encourage you guys, uh, as this Christmas, look around, see there's people, there's people hurting around you. Maybe a little encouraging word to them, a little message, say, hey, I'm praying for you. Hey, I'm thinking of you. It's so hard. Loneliness is at a, a record high now. And we who are married and have kids and they're home with us and we're just ready to stab them because they're just getting on our nerves. Uh, we don't think of all the lonely people that live by themselves. And I I hope if you are single living by yourself and this show's doing something for you, praise God, keep us in prayer. And if you, but uh, if you know people who are lonely, especially Christmas by itself without any COVID or quarantining is hard on some people when they're lonely. So, just think of people you can reach out to. Just a text. Just, hey, how are you? I'm thinking about you. How you doing? What are you doing for Christmas? Not that you're inviting them. Say, I'd love to invite you, but I can't because of the, the spread of the virus. But, you know, it's just thinking of them. And if they're really lonely, tell them to join the Life with Naz family. At least once a night, they can laugh and have someone pray for them. So that's... Uh, just, you know, pray about who you can encourage this Christmas. You have 10 days from now, 9 days, 8 days, 8 days. <laughs> Doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> uh, so pray for these people. Love you guys. Thank you so much for another great night where I had, to, I had so much. Thank you for the laughs. Now I know what to tell people with smelly food on the plane next to me. Um, and good night, everyone. Love you guys. We're praying for your mom, Crystal. Oh, sorry. The anniversary of my sister passing. I'm sorry to hear that. All right, guys. Love you and have a great night.